I'm uh, Angela Christmas. I'm from uh, Member Two First Nations in uh, Nova Scotia, Cape Breton. And um, I'm the Mi'kmaq language teacher here at the Sananawaganamath No Guam in Con River. And I teach uh, pre kindergarten to grade nine Mi'kmaq language. And a part of, part of uh, what I do also is I take a, an additional, um, a few additional, 10 additional classes, and I teach kindergarten and grade one um, arts and culture as well, on top of that. Uh, in terms of um, uh, kindergarten and grade one, I talked to about uh, learning arts and culture. Mm -hmm. We touch base on, you know, what the, what the eagle feather is, the meaning of the eagle feather, the meaning of, you know, what does it mean to smudge, you know, and how do we smudge? You know, we use the, uh, the sweet grass to smudge and we use um, uh, other uh, sacred medicines as well, the sage, the cedar and tobacco to give uh, offerings and stuff. So they learn a lot about uh, that cultural aspect. Um, and also we do some drumming. Right, we do some drumming um, as part of um, our our language here, and that's that's actually um, we actually learn. Uh, you know, they have we have a, a music uh, school here, a music uh, teacher here that teaches a lot of the uh, music as well in terms of uh, um, traditional traditional language, traditional songs as well, mm -hmm. and uh, in the younger grades. Now, I don't think that she teaches the younger grades, like the kindergarten and pre-kindergarten. So I take that, those on, those children on, and I, I go through some of the songs, and uh, so we learn some of the songs, the traditional songs on the, on the hand drum. Yeah, so that's what we do here in terms of the hand drum. Um, the language portion of it. Now, this is... Uh, huge portion of the program that I teach and uh, so again some fr from pre-kindergarten to grade nine uh, we begin with the basics in pre-kindergarten like we do like animals and colors and um, uh, you know we I read books to them mm -hmm. then we do um, uh, some little bit of dancing and you know, introduce them to some of the dancing. And then once we get up to a little bit of the higher grade, so I take what they've learned already and then I incorporate, you know, a little basic conversational, basic conversational, um, you know, and then I include more of the language uh, in terms of phrases, you know, and then when they get the word, you know, all these words together and then we start making sentences. But before we get to the sentence part, we, um, a couple of years ago, Myself and Susan Jador, in, she's the uh, student aid uh, assistant in for the grade three students, and she has a a child or an, an adult child now who was born hearing impaired, so she was deaf, and so I guess Susan had to learn sign language, you know, to communicate with her daughter because her daughter had to go to uh, leave the community to go to school to to learn because there was no, there was nothing here to help her, you know, with the sign language to learn. So she went to a hearing um, uh, impaired school or, you know, so a, a school for the deaf, I believe mm -hmm. it is a school for the deaf. Mm -hmm. And, um, and that's where she learned to sign. And then she taught her mother, I guess, to sign. So they communicated, right. And so what happened a couple of years ago, now, some of the students were having difficulty with, um, you know, the language, learning the Mi'kmaq language. So I asked Miss Susan, how do you say open in sign language? And she went like this. I said, okay. So that would be bantadu. Bantadu. I said, okay, how do you say window in sign language? She went like this. And that's window in sign language. So I said, okay, so we put them together, buntadu duobri, buntadu duobri. Then the children will get it. Those who are having difficulty learning the language will get the visual. And not only are they getting the visual, but they're also learning another language while 
while um, you know associating with the, with learning Mi'kmaq language. So that's uh, that's something that we um, we kind of. Uh, uh, took the reins on, I guess you could say, and uh, we've incorporated a lot of phrases now, and uh, we use them in, in the class. So for instance, if we want daru duobri, um, sabonuk is tomorrow, sabonuk. And then we learn all of our colors. Uh, so megweg is red. Uh, we have storanamug is green, because this is G in sign language. So you just kind of shake it. Shake your your index finger and your thumb, and that's that's the, for the color green. Nikjawig and Nejawamuk. So that's a hard word, right? That's a big long word in Mi'kmaq to learn. Nikjawig and Nejawamuk, right? And how am I going to get the, you know the little children to to remember Nikjawig and Nejawamuk, right? This is for the color orange, right? And then I also do the syllables with, you know, to help them learn as well. Nik Jawik and Nejuamuk. So then they've got the syllables to help them with Nik Jawik and Nejuamuk. And they have the sign language for orange to associate that word with the Mi'kmaq, or the sign with the Mi'kmaq language. Nik Jawik and Nejuamuk. So they get it, right? So they're they're catching on quicker and uh, and it's and it's uh, something that we're um, uh, we're actually doing a presentation myself and Miss Susan uh, at the upcoming Old Nui Sultinage conference in uh, member two it's a it's a it's a an Atlantic Canada language conference uh, for uh, Mi'kmaq uh, uh, schools that teach the language so we do different, uh, so we go there and we learn different strategies on how to help mm. ourselves, you know, the educators, you know, to, to, um, to teach the language or to, you know, to even learn ourselves, right? Because I'm still learning the language. It's very exciting. And the students have really, uh, you know, they, they, they love it. Uh, mm -hmm. They come in here and then 40 minutes goes like that. And they say, oh, miss, it's class is over already. Mm -hmm. And they're, you know, they're pretty sad. And then they look forward to the next class. So it's a nice shift in, in, the, um, in the attitude towards learning the language, I guess you could say, because uh, before it was, uh, you know, the, you know, it was like another course and, you know, so I teach, you know, not only the language, but, you know, the importance of the language. Why is it important to learn your language? You know, why is it important to, you know, to feel um, Mi'kmaq, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Because without mm -hmm. your culture and your language, right, they go hand in hand. And this is what I've been told by my elders. Right. Without your without your culture, you don't have your language. Mm -hmm. So it's very important to learn both. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the success. I tell you, the uh, we have another uh, particular program within the language uh, program that I teach is a home reading program, and it's a series of of words, uh, phrases that uh, I practice with the students. And they learn them very well in the class. And then they take their readers home. And because uh, uh, a lot of the parents are like, you know, they're a little bit uh, intimidated by the language mm -hmm. and they don't know it. So they can't help their children uh, learn the language or even help them read the, mm -hmm. the words. So I make sure that uh, they know them very well before they take their home readers home and I ask them, okay, sit down with your parents or whoever it is that does your homework, is doing your homework with, and you read to them what these words are. And then I have a parent comment section, right? <laughs> a parent comment and the comments that I get, you know, this tells me that it's successful. This tells me that it's, uh, you know, that it's working because some of the comments that I get are, um, wow, my child really knows uh, Mi'kmaq or my child is teaching me the language. So it's the comments that I get back from the parents in these grades that tells me that it's that it is successful. It is working. Right. And not only that, it's the attitude, the attitude of the, of the students, the attitude of the parents. Um, and that tells me that 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 there's, you know, a great deal of success with this program. And it's exciting. I'm still excited. You know, when I started here in 2006, I was really, really excited. And uh, uh, I'm still, I still have that same excitement in teaching the language to the children. 
And I encourage that. I encourage them to speak not only just in the classroom, mm -hmm. but outside the classroom mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, uh, I'll, you know, if I see them, uh, I tell them in the class, I said, well, I'll tell you what, if you see me at the store in the community, um, and if you speak Mi'kmaq to me, I said, I'll do my happy dance. Right. I don't care where I am, but I will do a happy dance for you. And I tell you, I've done a lot of happy dancing in this community. When they finish the program, they can take, you know, the lexicons and then they can continue uh, learning from um, not only what they've learned, but what they don't know. And they can they can learn themselves from the lexicon or from um, because there's because we don't have a lot of speakers. There's a lot of resources that we have also on um, mm -hmm. online online mm -hmm. uh, Mi'kmaq and Nui in uh, Nova Scotia they this is Curtis Michael, or no, no this is uh, this is uh, Mi'kmaq and Nui in it's oh, um, yes yeah yes, yes, they, they MK MK yes Mi'kmaq and Nui yeah they do they create these apps and there's a lot of apps now and they they're continuing to create more apps which is wonderful because you have um, we we have a lot of the songs that are on here just look at a, all, all the songs that you could learn from here right and the children are learning them um, and if they uh, I don't know how to get back there there we go and uh, so you know once they're finished uh, the program they can take it upon themselves to continue you know mm -hmm. through using technology or you know the uh, you know the, the hard copy um, mm -hmm. uh, lexicons mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and we have um, and during um, getting back to teaching and success and and yes. and that if you don't mind I have um, this also this really uh, this machine actually and uh, it's called a language master and what I do is I record uh, using this uh, magnetic tape I record uh, this word on um, on these cards and uh, we um, use this machine to uh, so this there's a word M E S K E Y I and I put it on instructor. I am sorry. Meske. Right? And so the students hear that. I am sorry, meske. So if I had a substitute even that comes in and I'm not available, you know, then I'm still available. <laughs> right? <Wow. laughs> right? Through here. Wow. Or um, I am sorry. Yeah. Meske. Miss Gay, yeah, and and for the students to learn, I put it on student, and then I ask them to say. So I'll ask you to say, Miss Gay, Miss Gay, right? Oh wow! Yeah, so they hear their voices as well speaking oh. the language. So that kind of you know gives them incentive and encouragement as yes. well on learning. So, yes. so stuff like that. Oh, that's yeah. yeah. I, never, I didn't even know that existed. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. it's an old machine. This is really really old, and and um, but uh, I still love using it. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, it's so the children. Little, it's a great little. Oh yes, and they oh, have yeah. a lot of fun with it too. It's all, yeah, <laughs> they hear their voices. They love hearing their voices, right? Mm -hmm. Even if it's uh, you know they're making little sounds or whatever. After they say the word, they make a little peeping sound or you know they laughing or whatever. Then they hear themselves laughing on here and. You know, they just they just love it. Yeah. yeah. So I make it fun, um, you know, and uh, they have fun while they learn. And that's really important, I find, you know, because it keeps them interested and it keeps them, you know, yeah. positive. Yeah. 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 So they have a really good feeling, you know, when they come in and they have a really good feeling when they leave. Mm -hmm. About the language. For more. Right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, because I, mean, I grew up not learning the language. I didn't know the language encompasses everything you know from uh, learning uh, your language your culture your traditions um, and elders you know education mm -hmm. include in, include you know the the, the community members in um, in learning because that's you know that's that was our history that's how that's how we were taught mm -hmm. that's how we learned was through oral traditions, oral histories. So uh, it's, um, it encompasses uh, everything.
to me. Oh yeah, the continuation certainly of the, the technology portion of it. Uh, the more uh, language uh, apps that are available, you know, the you know the more that the that the educator uh, will know and learn, or and or the students as well. Um, uh, 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 update in the lexicons would be wonderful. The um, uh, we have. Um, on the Facebook site, we have a Lusuwaka Manal, it's called. And what it is, is uh, like a lot of people, uh, speakers are on there to help mm -hmm. non-speakers um, like myself and emergent speakers like myself. And uh, those who want to learn the language, they can um, access uh, online, live, um, elders and or speakers of the, the language and that's how you know we, we ask a question on there and then they, it comes back with several answers from several people who are, are, are fluent speakers of the language so if that continues that would be you know wonderful and it, it's actually been uh, up and running now for about seven years maybe so hmm. yeah six hmm. or seven years so it's been uh, it's been quite successful so far so i hope that continues where's this out of it's on facebook uh, so it's now. just on facebook. yes okay. yeah so it would be someone like myself if somebody would like uh, i'm i'm part of that group so if i know that there's somebody who really is eager to learn the language uh more than what i can teach them then i would refer them and invite them to this to this group hmm. yeah and then they can ask those questions that I wouldn't be able to answer. Well, the takeaway for me would be, you know, um, don't be shy, uh, you know, and uh, embrace it, embrace your culture, embrace your heritage, em embrace it all. Don't be ashamed of it, afraid of it. Uh, ask your elders, um, um, you know, participate as much as you can. Don't hold back because for myself, um, I held back a lot when I was growing up. Hmm. And I think I think a lot of the times it was because I didn't know. I didn't know who to go to, you know. So ask the questions and, uh, and uh, yeah, embrace it and, and enjoy it.